you know, our relationship isn't perfect. And obviously from the outside, it, it can seem that way. But, you know, I remind myself that my relationship with my other kids isn't perfect. You know, my, my biological kids and that um, I think we just try to give grace and time and patience. And luckily mm-hmm. Savannah's um, the most understanding and helpful. And obviously any kind of co-parenting situation is difficult. You know, I, it, it's not ideal. It, it's not the way that God intended it. Um, but God works all things for the good of those who love him. So we know that, you know, God will work this for good. And, mm-hmm. and we see that happening in, in our life, in my relationship with Everly, and, and even our relationship with Everly's biological dad and just, you know, full circle. But again, it's not easy. It's, you know, really hard at times, but um, we see the fruit that's coming from it and it's encouraging. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool and unique situation. And yeah. we love it. I wouldn't yeah. have it any other way. Mm. Well, and it's such a good picture of the gospel. I mean, I, I think every Christmas, I think the unsung hero is Joseph. Obviously, Mary, what a tremendous responsibility, but Joseph shouldered this love and care and, and honoring of a child that he didn't have come out of his own body, but every mm-hmm. bit of, of the love and the honor. And I just, I just think foster dads, adopted fathers, you know, stepdads, just such a, a beautiful chance to mm. be a living picture of the gospel because we're not Jews. If we aren't uh, Christians, we're not necessarily Jews, but we're grafted in like the Bible says, and God takes us on as his kids. And I just think it's just a really, really powerful demonstration of the gospel. Every time I see that. Mm, yeah. 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 I know. I, I, I was encouraged by that. And I didn't realize that until a few years after, but you know, that Jesus had a stepdad, you know, yeah. technically and that's where Joseph played it. And I was like, wow, like this is, you know, something that was from the beginning and, that so many people struggle with and is so relatable nowadays. I mean, you know, even just in the divorce aspect of co-parenting and so many different things, I feel like if the statistics are true that 50% of marriages end in divorce and, you know, these people remarry, then step parents are so common nowadays. And I feel like there needs to be more dialogue and conversation around that instead of, Mm. you know, shame and, Mm -hmm. Uh, condemnation and even just frustration where you just kind of quiet up because you know we we can even experience that at times where like you get frustrated over a situation and it's easier just to kind of you know get quiet about it and mad and frustrated but having these open conversations just like you would about your normal kids or whatever it is um it it uplifts people that that you're not alone and that you know there is a, a bright you know so much beautiful stuff that comes out of it yeah 